Jordan Love, the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, just signed a massive contract, and in today's video, I will break down everything that we know about it. In case you didn't know anything about Jordan Love, well, he is a quarterback for the Packers, as I just said, and he does not have a lot of experience. He was behind Aaron Rodgers, of course, he was a first round pick in 2020. He was seen as a highly touted prospect with a ton of upside, but also needed some work, so sitting helped him a bit. He got his first real opportunity last year since Aaron Rodgers said goodbye and moved down the road to the Jets. I guess way down the road. Before this year and Jordan Love got his first year of experience, his contract was about to expire at the end of 2023. So him and the Packers got together. They were like, hey, you don't actually have any experience. We don't know if you're any good or not. Here's a $13.5 million contract for 2024 in case you're good. And if you're bad, then, you know, free money. So anyways, this year would be the last year of his contract. So the Packers, of course, made a big extension. The first half of 2023, Jordan Love was very shaky. However, the second half and in the playoffs, he looked like a top five quarterback. Now, I know that's that's a little extreme, but he looked very good. He was one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL the second half of last year. So that brings us to where we are today. He's heading into the year, last year of his contract. He only really has one year of experience, half great, half not great. So they are in a bit of a sticky situation. Instead of the standard five-year contract, they agreed to a four-year contract, but it has a boatload of money and a crazy signing bonus. So he signed for four years, $220 million for $55 million per year with $155 million guaranteed. So this places him at the highest per year average amongst any quarterback. He is currently tied with Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow. So 55 million is the top. The next time someone will make more than that will be when Dak Prescott finally signs a contract either with the Cowboys or with someone else. But until then, he is at the peak, the highest paid quarterback, Jordan Love. One interesting thing about Jordan Love's new contract is there's an absolutely insane signing bonus. He's getting 75 million dollars of a signing bonus so in case you didn't know what that means that just means that that portion of the contract he's getting up front so this year he's getting 75 million dollars and more he's actually getting you know whatever his base salary is for the year plus 75 million so he's getting roughly 80 or 90 million dollars this year so this does have an upside for the Packers with the signing bonus. You give it to him up front and you can stretch it all the way through the contract. It really gives the contract a lot of flexibility, but for him, it has the massive upside of this is not money that he'll get one day. It is money that he is getting today. So that is crazy. The next big thing to talk about, of course, is the guarantees. So it's $155 million guaranteed. This is a lot. However, this is not classified as guaranteed at signing. Guaranteed at signing means that the money is guaranteed, of course, as soon as you sign the contract. This just is total guarantees. So in all likelihood, we don't know yet, but it is highly likely that roughly 40 million or so of the $155 million guaranteed is not guaranteed yet. If he's in, on the roster next year or maybe in 2026 or 2027, then it would become guaranteed. But as of today, it is highly likely not guaranteed yet, or it would have been included in the guaranteed at signing number. We don't know this number yet because it takes a little bit for this information to get out. And then for the Packers side, when could they get out of this contract? And likely he's pretty locked in through 2027 it's probably feasible to cut him in 2027 or 2028 with 40 or 50 million dollars of dead cap now i don't know the exact numbers but you know based off looking at others that seems to be about the range so 
he is the Packers guy for the foreseeable future. He was just that good for that half of a season. And Packers fans, you better hope it works out because he's your guy. And everyone seems to think he is at this point. So you can't blame the Packers for doing it. They didn't really have a choice. Jordan Love probably wouldn't have played this year without a new contract, or at least he would have held out all the way through the offseason, which would have killed their offseason plans. I mean, how can you do training camp without your quarterback? So anyways, next year, this won't look like a bad deal. There will be several deals at probably $60 million or so, and he'll be and he'll be the 6th or 7th highest paid quarterback. I know, for example, for the Eagles, Jalen Hurts is now the 7th highest paid quarterback, and people were freaking out just last year when he signed the contract. So anyways, that's my contract breakdown, and we'll find out more over the next few weeks. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and um, I'll see you later for more NFL videos.